Hey Siri, play my favorites. Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Kalejandro here and welcome back to another episode of Mugayon. In this episode, we're going to be building the National Sports Hub. A state-of-the-art, fully integrated sports, entertainment, and lifestyle hub. It features a unique cluster of world-class facilities like the National Stadium, Indoor Stadium, Aquatic Center, Arena, Sports Center, and even a mall, and other various um, sports facilities like gyms and, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that is the gist of what we're going to be building in the next two episodes. Well, this is just one episode split into two. This is the first part of the episode that is just going to be purely time lapse and more on the planning and explanation stage on what this thing is going to be. Now, you'd see me placing down the base of this building. Now, if you haven't seen the previous episode where we planned out, where we laid the groundwork for or what we're going to be building in the next few episodes which is because you know I said in a previous episode we're going to be hosting the Olympics and as you've seen in like the pre intro intro of the the these few episodes Magan is hosting the 36th Olympics during the 20 during 2036 yes yes during 2036 it's quite far but you know they already have announced like Brisbane will host the 2032 Olympics and uh, London and then before that Paris so yeah so i'm just clipping buildings together and the main building we're using is the tokyo national stadium and inside of that we actually have a functioning building which is like camp new from barcelona i think so yeah it, this building works and yeah i just changed the design of it so that it would be you know customized and unique and you know you know its own thing you know giving it's giving it its own flavor not you know not being like what everything else because you know asset limitations you know as much as i'd like to have like there are, lim there are only limited assets in the workshop that would fit this job so we have to resort to procedural objects now what i'm doing here is i'm just using uh, a gym asset i guess and there is actually a mall in the national stadium i'm taking inspiration from which is in singapore here it is yes it's quite amazing everything you need is in one place and it's like you know a sports hub basically it's a hub for everything sports so yeah i'm just doing the base of the stadium and this is gonna be like tiered and there's gonna be like a ground level and then a lower level it's not like underground but you know what i mean like a negative one and a negative two and the parking is also going to be underground but i don't place any parking buildings yet because people don't actually you know, we don't have enough of population, we don't have that big of a population, and it's just purely for aesthetic. So let's just imagine that there's parking underground. Now, you'd see me place those um, airport buildings, yes, yes. Those are like terminal buildings for airports, they're like part of a pack. And the amazing thing about this is that it's curved of course and it's also the right size like for the scale of the city this would fit like because you know here's the picture of the stadium once again you'd see these things on the sides that they're actually arenas inside them there's a basketball court the aquatic center and you know other training facilities on the inside and you know we're just copying that because you know we only have a limited amount of space here in the city and i want to i'm heavily taking heavy inspiration from singapore since you know they 
they make the most with what they have since they're an island nation and yeah it's also 2035 like in the current date of Magayon even though in at uh, in the game it says like 2106 or something but yeah we're living in the 2030 so we have to be very environmentally conscious and we have to every decision we make has to be very calculated and very you know planned so that's why these videos take quite a long time to produce but yeah I try to make the most of it and yeah I remove those the metro station there yes yes a lot of these things will be changed later on because you know it's quite a hard I took it was it took a long time it took several attempts just to get this right because you know I'm, I'm a bit of a perfect professionist I'm a bit of a perfectionist so yeah it's both a blessing and a curse because I can do great things but sometimes you know it's that's very rare so you know we have to strike the balance between quality and quantity and you know hit the sweet spot and yeah I'm just gonna be moving this entire thing upwards if the game video allows us oh there we go it's moving again so yeah this is the aquatic center but in Singapore the building that is like on this part is the indoor stadium separate from the national stadium the national stadium is quite cool actually it features a retractable roof and you know for Singapore it's like protecting it from the harsh weather weather like the sun uh, the rain and the humidity and the design if you guys want to see a documentary on how this building was made I'll link it down below because it's quite amazing it's an amazing feat of engineering and yeah engineers amazing but I'm gonna be an architect so speaking of architect classes are about to start next week so yeah videos are not gonna be as frequent but I'm going for at least a video an episode a week and you know some filler things in between or even you know we'll see if the schedule allows since you know but we're taking online classes which is quite sad because we're already more than a year into the pandemic and the Philippines is still mm, you know we're still here we're still inside there's nightly yeah. I'm just gonna leave it out of the way but yeah quite sucks the current condition here the pandemic situation in the Philippines is quite sad but yeah now we are placing down the pathways now I'm using a road actually but this road is pedestrian only but you'd see in the cinematics in the next episode that or maybe later on you'd see some cars driving in this place I mean these roads because I forgot to you know ban them from certain areas and they found their ways those sneaky little cars they found their way to you know drive into the stadium but yeah we all have dedicated entrances to the stadium and these are only for pedestrians now the pedestrians have direct access to the metro station which is like beautifully located um, by the stadium and the aquatic center or I don't know I should probably make that an indoor stadium but you know we never know it's just there it's a stadium and yeah now we're doing another piece of road it's gonna be like a park in front of the stadium and people can like chill here and just watch the game from the outside and we have a lot of um, areas for them to do that as well and I'm just adding in these curves here and inside of those are gonna be like green patches like with flowers and I'm not gonna be putting a lot of trees here or should I you know you'd see we'll see in the next episode if you guys want to me to um, place trees there just comment down below or whatever and yeah connecting it all up connectivity 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 this building I mean the sports hub is connected by metro and by road and their main roads connecting it is the Silangan Expressway but if you don't want to use the Silangan Expressway you can still use the avenue that goes from the heart of the capital out into the forest or whatever that road there by the public housing yes yes now we're going to be having direct access from Silangan Expressway and we have two roundabouts to handle the traffic the ongoing the incoming and the outgoing I think traffic going in and out of the um, stadium basically now the only one thing the only roundabout that actually functions is the one here on the left and you'd see that you know it has access into and out of the westbound traffic and also the eastbound which is like this thing right here that's how we're gonna like connect to it and you know I have you know I kind of love making these intersections because you know 
curves I love curves but you know with the buildings we can't do custom buildings so I'm just stuck with the roads but you know the roads are amazing and speaking of roads if you guys want to check out the road collection for Magallon it's already down there below and also the mods and the map theme and the map of Magallon the map that is not like heavily terraformed by me like the base map that I downloaded from the workshop if you guys want to see like if you guys want to get the map that I'm currently using right now I don't think I'm gonna be publishing this map anytime soon because th this map is still a work in progress but you never know you can also join me you can also join patreon to get early access to everything else like the asset list is already there trees props vehicles all that kind of stuff about Magellan and yeah show your support by following me on patreon and get exclusive content in return early access basically i'm gonna be releasing them soon but you know i'm still finding out which time i'm gonna be taking and yeah we have this access to the stadium now i'm just taking inspiration from the singaporean one which is this one yes yes now this is like you know it's only for the stadium so it's not that big of a like big of an interchange it's quite a small one even though it's big in a scale of in a sense of like Magayon, it's quite small it only has one lane for each direction and you know people don't off people don't go here that much and during events people just opt for public transport so yeah this was built like in the 2030s and I have an entire lore about this so yeah this was built during 2035 or early 24 or ahead of like the major international events i'm thinking that the city would have hosted the asian 2034 asian games 2035 southeast asian games the and the 2036 olympic games which is like what this like mini series is mini series inside of a series type of thing in city skylines that i'm doing we're doing the olympic like it's back-to-back -back episodes of just in in olympic inspired builds because it's the olympics and it only happens every four years you know i'm i'm gonna do this if i'm gonna do this i would be doing it in 2024 again so 2021 i mean it's supposed to be 2020 but you know it's delayed by the pandemic in one year or whatever but yeah we're doing it right now so if you guys want to see the lore of this thing again like the building or you want to give it a bit of a story you can join the, the community discord because i share a lot of like deep deep dives i go into deep i go deep into like how what the buildings are and how they're like the things everything yeah if you want to know more about the city you can follow you can join the community discord and you might even get like exclusive content as well you never know you just gotta be i don't know you just gotta be aware or you know alert that's the word alert 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 yeah now i'm fixing up the, the roundabouts and making them smooth and yeah it's amazing yes yes very amazing and adding removing some of the pavements because since we're in taking inspiration from singapore thought of greenery and yeah sadly i don't place any trees in this episode because that's going to be on the next episode where we do a lot of detailing in the episode i just wanted to share with you guys the part one of this because if i made this into like an entire episode it would be an hour long and i don't have the capacity to speak to do a commentary for an entire hour long and you know i have a live play at the end of next episode so that we get like a deeper look into what we have in this part of the city or maybe even the part three like the part three is like a tour around this we never know i'm very indecisive so even I don't know what I'm gonna do, so how would you guys know what you're gonna see? You know. But yeah, school is about to start. I just wanna bring that up. Lesser videos. I know, less frequent, but you know, I'm still gonna be uploading, you know. Nothing is stopping me. For now. For now! But yeah. Yes, this intersection, making it smooth using the node controller. Now, there's actually a new mod, the network multi tool, but I still. But as of recording this video, like the time lapse i have it wasn't released yet so i think we're going to be using them in later episodes when we build like the stack interchange that i told you guys about in the last episode or the other interchanges in the city but yeah but for now we're going to be fixing up this like entrance to the stadium to the national sports hub 
Now we have direct access into the stadium, like, you know, going straight through, you know, right there. You can see here, if you're going to the right of that, that's going to go bring you around the National Stadium so you'd have access to the other, like, facilities we have. But if you go, like, whoops into it, it's like underground parking for the stadium. And I actually, like, watched the match, but, you know, the traffic wasn't heavy here because everybody was using transport, which is nice, but, you know, I still want to see traffic. But ever since I downloaded the Realistic Populations mod, the FPS, I mean, the simulation speed has slowed down because we we had like 10,000 people or more in the city. And yeah, it was just wasn't handling things. It was, wasn't handling it. I'm just using a laptop, guys, you know. Don't, I can't, I can't. It's too difficult, said the game. And I'm like, why? You know, we're doing the best with what we have. And yeah, this is it. This is what you get. Of uh, uh, like and not this this is this is more than what I can do. I mean this is not my full potential, guys. It's the laptop limiting me. If the laptop or if my setup was able to handle this, because you know I'd be able to do anything in City Skylines. But yeah, and also because you know City Skylines is not optimized for hardware. And yeah, we we are very like heavy on the assets, and we're very heavy on the mods. So you know, if you guys want this series to last long, I if if we if I want this series to last long, I have to make some cutbacks on certain things like detailing and the amount of nodes. And yeah, we have now finished the connection into the sports hub. Now we're gonna be building the Magayon Trail going into the sports hub now i'm not actually going to be doing it like this i'm just gonna be i'm gonna be putting them i mean the bike network across i mean beside the like promenade here which is like there's gonna be water there by the way it's gonna be water there like it's just not it's not just sunken ground it's, there's gonna be water going into that and the Magayon trail will go around the stadium on the elevated side of it and there's also going to be like pathway on top of it so yeah you're gonna have like an amazing view of the city because there's like different tiers to the stadium you'd see the view of the city and it's amazing but sadly i wasn't able to shoot any because i was too you know too into it that i forgot that oh, i should probably took a i should probably have took a picture of the view from this time but yeah, it is what it is now i'm not you know this asset is quite fidgy fiddly i mean i'm creating words you know hashtag vocabulary but yeah <laughs> this road i mean this bike network if you use the non-elevated one it sort of has terrain issues so i just opted for the terrain to for the elevated one because that's a little bit easier to work with so yeah that is the Magayon Trail. Now the Magayon Trail will, you know, it's it's the bike network that goes across the entire waterfront of the series of the series of the city of Magayon, and it start from and it starts from the very first, the first few episodes of this the series. It starts from Legaspi, yeah, Embarcadero, yes, the waterfront mall, and it goes from Bayview actually. It starts from Bayview and goes across the entire waterfront into SM, into the capital, into the port, and finally into the stadium. Now the Magallon Trail will be hosting the cycling events of the Olympics, and yeah, imagination. You know, we could we can't actually have like athletes, you know, going into the city. Let's just imagine that they did, and you know, it's what it's quite fun driving. I mean, biking around the trails. So if you guys want to see like a first-person um, tour of the city, or like driving around the city, just hit me up in the comments because I would gladly do a video if you're not if you guys want to see them. But yeah, now we're going to be. I uh, know, I'm just changing the roads and making it look straight. Even though we're not, yes, yes. <laughs> wow, fixing up the roads, basically, just fixing up the roads and checking if everything is all right. I'm just making this straight because that weird curve there just doesn't make much sense, you know. Why would you have like a curve when we already have a curve? That's too curvy. And also because, you know, why not? It looks nice, it looks better that way, and it is what it is. Now, we're actually um, just 
fixing up another connection, the connections of the highways, because in the last episode I completely decimated this part. This used to look completely different from before, and yeah, it's gonna be like Singapore here, like Marina Bay Sands, but you know, in later episodes you'd see the result of that. But for now, we're just gonna, we're just a bit quite stuck with this no yes look at that this is gonna be like a ferry stop or a cruise stop i don't know like we can actually use the ferry through the port because there's a lot of big ships ships there and we don't want to you know have our cute little ferries be with the large ships you know it's not safe i think if you guys you know comment down below if the ferry can actually go across the bay with all the big ships you know or they should just go inside of the creeks of the city, like that one on top. Because that goes straight into the river, the main river. You know, comment down below. The more comments, the more the algorithm helps us out. And that's nice. And yeah, here another roundabout. We have a lot of roundabouts here. I'm not doing a lot of intersection because the traffic here is quite low. I'm reserving the big interchanges for the ring road of the city. I mean the circumferential road because it's just half half ring so it's like a letter c yes it's like in manila yes yes i'm running out of things to say but luckily we have reached the end of the video if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next and of course don't forget to subscribe only 31 percent of you guys are subscribed so if you subscribe it would help the channel out so much and also if you guys want to show your support to this channel consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash kalihanjo and get exclusive content early access and so much more if you guys want to see like a deep dive into like, like pictures and city i also have an instagram instagram.com slash kalihanjo yt and if you you know want to you know get in touch with the series or with me more i have a community discord link is down below and yeah that is the episode the in on part two we're gonna go deeper into how we design this thing and how it actually works but for now this is Alejandro signing off bye sadly no cinematics for me i'm so sorry it's for part two Ha 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 